Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a bonus read for Leo. Hey Leo, how are you? Wherever you are on this whole entire planet, I don't care where, shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge you, we're grateful for your presence, and in case nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. So let's get into this. Clearing ground for Leo. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relate clear and concise messages for the higher good, and I do mean the higher good, of the collective of Leo. All right, Leo, here we go. Show me Leo. Leo, thank you so much for joining us, and also thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Here we go. Show me Leo. Going on. Leo. Right. Leo, I'm not gonna take those. I want to turn them around. Hey, Leo, get him out. All right. Okay. So you got a nine of rods and the death in reverse, huh? Well, now we're on the upright. So. Um. Somebody's being stubborn here, okay? Or defensive, refusing to compromise. I mean, that's just what it is. And it could, we have Scorpio energy for the death here, but it's in reverse. Because of this, somebody's unable to move forward because they want to be stubborn. They fear new beginnings. There's a fear of change and a stagnancy. It comes from being stubborn and unwilling to compromise. So, okay, now look at this. Okay, the foundation of this situation, there could have been a divorce or a business partnership breaking up. This is the Hierophant in reverse. This is, you know, people just, this is like a rebel without a cause, challenging tradition, not wanting to conform, trying to have new methods of doing things. So whether that was in a business relationship or a romantic relationship, it looks like it ended. Show me what's crowning. All right. Crowning you right now is an eight of cups. Somebody's walking away. Yeah, that's what I said. It's breaking up. I know it. Eight of cups talks about going to find your ninth and tenth cup because you're unfulfilled. So this is either a business partnership that broke up or a relationship. Now, could have been a marriage because it's a higher font. Something that had to do with contracts. So Virgo energy for the hermit. This is somebody that spends time alone, okay? And they do a lot of soul searching and self-reflection and solitude, um, introspection. They heal their inner child wounds. They ascend spiritually. They become very independent and strong because they spend time by themselves. So they actually clear their energy and release all the garbage so that when they move forward, they're smarter, wiser, faster, stronger. Dot, dot, dot. Now I'm hearing Kanye West. That, 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 that to kill you can only make you stronger, right? They get to know themselves. They get, yeah. They can actually teach other people. This card's got the macabre of life on it. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they know. So, either there's a Virgo coming in or, or somebody spend time alone after detaching. They detach to spend time alone, depending where you are on this timeline, okay? Just because they want to be stubborn and not compromise. And try to avoid some kind of, you had some fear of change. Page of Pentacles. Here comes an offer. Now, either you're making one or you're getting one. Page of Pentacles is about a new beginning. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, okay? This is somebody who's ambitious, diligent, they're goal-oriented, they're dependable, loyal. They want to be the king of Pentacles one day. I mean, you know, pages are children, like kids. So this would be the kid that actually goes to school and learns and comes home with A's. Not the one that's standing on the corner, hanging out like a derelict, right? So, but it's also about a new beginning and a new offer. Somebody's coming in. Now, this could be a new job offer, right? Because it's pentacles. Or a new financial endeavor or a new, just a new offer offer. You know, like a romantic offer. Yeah, look at this. Nine of Cups. There's success in your environment, Leo. Somebody wants to be successful. There's, there's success. You got a Nine of Cups, okay? Nine of Cups is good. This is wishes coming true. Contentment, satisfaction, success. I mean, this is wishes coming true. So, this is good, Leo. Now, what is spirit's advice? Oh, the nine of pentacles. Nice. You got the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. Leo, let me tell you how good this is. This is now being rewarded for your efforts. This is success, luxury, material security. This is nice, Leo. It looks like after maybe a bad divorce or a bad business breakup, somebody's walking away. 
Somebody doing the spiritual work. Somebody went in and did the work. Now, if this was you, Leo, you got it. You know, if this was somebody else, I don't know. But there's, there's a new offer coming in, okay? Doesn't have to be this person coming back. I'm not feeling that. Right now, you are very, you know, you got emotional fulfillment and financial fulfillment here. Success is like in all arenas. You're at the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. There's only 10 after that. Show me over here what uh, the, yeah, most likely action this is. Show me. What's the most likely outcome of this? This is going to be fun to clarify. Thank you. Okay. Okay, the Ten of Swords. Be careful. There could be a painful ending. You might... What is it with the painful ending now? You got the Wheel of Fortune, what? Yeah. In reverse. Came out in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune. Now, how did it get like that when this was all like that? Unless Spirit wanted it that way. So, you know... The Wheel of Fortune in reverse talks about some kind of bad luck or clinging to control, maybe some setbacks. And coming in with this Ten of Swords, Bink, that's, you know, we know this is painful ending. So I don't know. We got the Six of Swords. Somebody already moved, moving away to calmer waters. Spies go, yeah, look, three. Oh, because you're healing. Oh, listen, I don't know. If this is somebody coming back around, I'd be very careful with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse and this Ten of Swords. Let's clarify. Yay, yay, yay. All right. Here we go. Clear and concise clarifications, please, for Leo. One, two. I mean, this is supposed to be a fairy tale ending. What's with this Ten of Swords here? I don't like that. I don't like that, Leo. Everything's all right up until the Ten of Swords. Here we go. You got the four of cups. Some kind of boredom and apathy here. Of swords, use your head, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Listen, if this is somebody that you haven't seen in a while, they went like hermit on you or ghost on you or something like this, and now they're coming back, be careful because they see you as successful, really successful. And this is what they might be coming back to, like, especially if it's somebody that's got some kind of a vengeance over here, something. Just be careful, Leo. Okay, so now let's see. Give me what's with this Queen of Swords. The Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they could have this in the chart, or you could. Um, this is a, you know, this is a very fair, honest, articulate energy. Smart, but it is cold. It's not like, you know, it's not like all warm and, yeah. Somebody that you might have moved away from already, or moved away from you. Moved over to calmer waters, right? Show me. And became victorious. See, this is what I'm saying. You got some kind of victory here, okay, or success. Maybe you're seen in the public eye. You did this by using your head, all right, and moving over to calmer waters. So now that you're riding high on the victory horse and you have, like, even if you're not there yet, what appears to be that, you know, somebody might not like that. Show me. Show me. Okay, we're going to take it all. There you go. You have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody didn't want to work with you or they don't want to work with you. With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, it's not about uh, putting any effort in. It's laziness. It's, you know, some kind of, yeah, lack of effort. Oh, look at all these. They want to come out of the cold because they had some kind of mischance here. All right. This is somebody who feels very unloved, empty, cold, or you are going to feel that way. And you got to find the swords in reverse. They're looking for a reconciliation. Hmm. Somebody wants a reconciliation here. I knew it. All right. So look. They want to come out of the cold. They don't feel like they're loved. Okay. The five of pentacles would have had it been upright first. Now the five of pentacles in reverse, we're talking about, you know, some kind of recovery. Maybe they had some kind of problem and they recovered for, I don't know. Could have been some kind of financial problem. But then why would they just, you know, listen. 
Like I said, it could be some kind of a financial deal here, right? Let's see. So you got the five of swords in reverse. So that means that they want they want to have some cooperation. Call a truce, right? Avoid a conflict. Yeah, and heal. They want to heal something over here, Leo. This is healing, hope for your future. A gift from the divine. This could be a wish come true. Like a like a wish come true. Like whatever was wrong with this person. Whoever this person is at the bottom here. They could have healed something. I don't know. Let's see. It's still, this is here, so you don't forget that. Now, here you go. Some kind of good news or a message that's going to make you happy. One more. Hmm. You might have a lot of options in this situation. You might not, you might not, you might be very indecisive and not, which, not know which way to go. Or, who's ever getting this off is going to be indecisive. Especially if it ended badly. Like, maybe somebody might want to go like, back into business with you somehow. Oh no, look, they want a ten of cups with you. So they, they're looking for some kind of um, emotional fulfillment. Happy life, happy wife situation, domestic harmony. Maybe even like re if you were married, getting remarried, something like this. Seriously. Yeah, where are we going with this? Oh, but there could be toxicities. Listen, they could have Capricorn in their chart. They could be codependent. Maybe this is somebody who's codependent on you. Or you on them, vice versa. Mix it up however the energy applies. Don't force fit. This is drug addiction, sex addictions, rock and roll. I mean, you name it. Codependent relationships, manipulation, lies, cheating. Hmm. All right. How did I know that was coming? Um, Let's see. Yeah. So... Let's see what's going on with these toxicities. Capricorn energy. New place. It's sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Here we go. Yeah, coming in like daddy's home over here with the king of cups. So they love you. Okay? They love you. They could be codependent on you, though. This is really serious. Somebody could be codependent here. Maybe they don't know how to be alone, this person. Let me see. Show me. This is something else. Yeah, again with the page of pencils on top of the page of pencils. Coming in to make a new offer. But there's a tower. There's a, this could be a shock and a surprise to you. With them. The, you know, whoever's coming in to make this offer, whether you're going out to make or somebody's coming in, this is a shock and a surprise. I mean, this is something somebody doesn't see coming. Really. All right. So they could have Capricorn of water in their chart. There's Scorpio on the board now. You got Aquarius. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see. Virgo. <clears throat> Sagittarius. What else? Come on. Give it to me. For this shock and surprise. All right. Can I have cards today, please? Jesus. I'm going to get them, Mary. Leo, look at this. Oh, look what they're bringing. They're bringing baggage. That's going to be the stock and surprise. Look at all the baggage they're coming in with. Look at the baggage. All right. So they're toxic. They're going to shock the shit out of somebody's getting the shit shocked out of them. And, uh, and there's a lot of baggage and burdens attached to this. All right, so what are we doing here? We don't want to do this. You got the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. But they're going to come in with a new offer anyway. Crazy. All right. It is a new opportunity for financial resources or abundance. So while there's a lot of baggage attached to it for the business people in this, and it's going to be a surprise, it could be fruitful. Because Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity for resources and abundance. The question is, do you want to take on the baggage that's coming with it? There's burdens attached to this. And it could end up ugly. All right, my nose is itching like crazy. Show me. I don't want to take all those. All right, here we go. So now, like I said, Leo, here you are. Your energy, being strong, resilient, having a lot of self-confidence, no, you know, courageous, self-control. It's strength, right? Your energy, inner strength, bravery. Overcoming any self-doubt. 
You could also have Gemini in your chart manifesting something. You know, like this is the magician. Not only does it manifest or he or she manifests, but they're very resourceful. They're inspired to take action. They're skilled. They have intellect, power. They take whatever they have in front of them. Now, in this case, it's the four elements, but it could be anything you have and alchemize it to work in, you know, for their higher good. This could have been something somebody manifested. This could be somebody else that has Leo in their chart. This also could be that somebody had some kind of a tower and was very burdened down. They're coming into off. They have to show strength and resilience if somebody's coming to offer or you're coming going to offer. You know what I mean? Something that you want to manifest here, but it's still with this ton of swords over here. This is not three, six, seven, one more on the magician. This one, okay, fine. Yeah, you might, uh, you have a seven of wands. You, there could be competition. You might be standing your ground and defending yourself here. You might not, uh, somebody's not gonna take this to, like, they're not, they're gonna hold you off or you're gonna hold them off. So that's something that's gonna, um, let's see. Especially if something ended badly, you know, like over here, up in the top here, with that high refund reverse. Show me this uh, seven of wands here. Please and thank you. With the, with the Ten of Swords. What's this Ten of freaking Swords? Why? Why not? Come on, today. All right, thank you. Can we have... Oh, yeah, look at this. Competition. Bullying. Look what you got. You got, you know, look at you. There could be a competition attached to this. All right? Like a lot of competition, whatever this is. And or you're going to have to, like, stand your ground and protect yourself. Look at this. This is Leo energy again. So I said you could be dealing with somebody else that has Leo in their chart. But... You're going to get put in competition here. And this is why. So maybe you should stand on, you know, like, here, let's put this on top. Defend yourself. Defend yourself, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, now we have a mess. Here, let me see something. Come on. <clears throat> so, here we go. Whatever. It's these sleeves. I got to pick them up. So now you got the, the five of wands and the seven of wands. This is not good. And uh, what's going on? Yeah, the Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past. And then, you know, the, the, this night, <laughs> the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is somebody unreliable. They cheat. They lie. So you got to be careful here. You really do. Came in like this. Six of Cups in reverse is about um, living in the past. So something that happened in the past that ended ugly. I mean, you know, yeah, I would be careful. You really better think about this. Really? All right, let's get some kippers on this. Hold on a second. Here we go. Come on, kipper. They made a mess with all these cards. My goodness gracious. I gotta do something with these sleeves. This is the problem. I'm not gonna do the whole reading over just because of that. Sorry. Nine. Some kind of change in the situation. It could be living arrangements, it could be uh, work, it could be anything. All right, just a change in a situation. 17 or 8. So somebody wants to either bring you a gift or you want to give somebody a gift or something like this. All right. So there's a gift involved in this. Okay, let's see. Show me. Be careful. Somebody could be a thief. You could have thieves around you. They could be more than one, Okay. One could be the distraction, while the other one's doing the work. These people could, you know, they could have been working together for a long time, whatever they are. All right. Here you go. Ooh. Maybe they, listen, somebody could be going to prison. Or maybe they're coming home from prison. There's a false person around you. Yeah, it's this thief. You got 8, 29, 10, 11, 24, or 6, 17, or 8, and 9, again, 31, and 4. So this is uh, somebody in bad health. There could be a change in somebody's health. That's what it could be here. I'm telling you. There's a false person that's a thief. And they could, you know. Let me see. What do we have? Um, seven, eight, three, nine, six, seven, eight, two, eight. Jesus. We still don't have any. Um... Let me see. Can I have? No, okay, thank you. Somebody could be in poverty that you don't know about. It's 11. There is a wealthy man. Maybe that's who's in bad health. Or that's who's... Yeah. There could be a change in that. Oh, no. There could be somebody passing away. We don't look. 
It could be a wealthy man that's in bad health that's going to pass away. Maybe they're going to leave you a gift. Maybe somebody's in poverty. Somebody could be a thief. They're going to prison. They're a false person. At the bottom of the deck, somebody's working really hard. Prison man again. Look at this. Now, this could be mental, spiritual, or emotional prison. It could be. But uh, with the thief and the... Yeah. Just be careful. And then somebody's really in despair. It's going to involve a main female. So let me see what number you're going to get. 1111. 1111 megahertz is your frequency, okay? Let's get you some of these. And uh, here we go. Show me. Mm -mm. Well, that was a convoluted story. So I don't know if it made sense to anybody, but um, only take it if it resonates or some of it or whatever. And just thank you for hitting the like and subscribe. Moon, Cancer and Pisces. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. And then Aquarius. All right. What else? What else for Leo? Leo. Leo. Here we go. You have emotions are running high. Super moon. Scorpio energy. Here we go. You have believe in the pos believe in the impossible. Blue moon. Now lavender obviously could be of great significance here, right? Your hard work is paying off new moon and Capricorn. Anything else with this? Here you go. A win-win outcome is forecast. New moon in Libra. All right, we're done. We're done. Let's get you, um, yeah, romance angels. Just one or two, please. Here we go. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You also have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Anything else with the romance angels? Anything else? Okay, no. The bottom of the romance angels, you have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Now, last but not least, you have Dragon. Again, thank you for hitting that like and subscribe. We really, really appreciate it. Here you go. You have knowledge. One. Yeah, so educate yourself. Make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, thank you again for hitting the like and subscribe. Thank you for joining us. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.